Okay, ladies, just had a nice chat with one of my neighbors, educating her on wigs. Uh, so I have, I have a lot of wigs here to do a quick review. It's not gonna be quick. Um, okay, so let's start with eye wig because that was a question. Here is an eye wig from Kendra, absolutely incredible. She is a medium. I did not end up having to size her down. I thought I would, but I just, I pulled, I, I didn't have to size her. Uh -oh. My head's blowing away. Okay, so the difference between an eye wig and my McKenna, they're, they're, they, it's just the scalp is the biggest difference. So do you see that scalp here? Hopefully you can see that maybe zoom in or whatever. So it, it's just, it's a different material. I don't know. It's, they're just different. Way more realistic eye wig. I love my McKenna, super comfortable, very similar in um, density, hair quality. Although I would hair quality is still better. It just is. I love this McKenna. So you see the inside of this one to show you the inside of this eye wig. I mean, they look so similar. So McKenna, eye wig, Kendra's medium. Okay. And then here is my other eye wig from, this one's originally from Gardo. Um, and then, uh, Kendra colored it for me. She did coloring. This one is a size small. It does fit better, but it comes up a little bit higher on my sideburns. So then you'll see here is Kendra's eye wig and Gardo's eye wig that has been custom colored because it was really blonde compared to McKenna. So one thing with eye wigs is that they tend to have the dye comes through more. And I don't know if it's that's because the top of the cap is different, but then you can really see the difference with this Gardo wig compared to my McKenna. So look here, you see that scalp compared to this one. They're just different. Um, here's my McKenna on. I'm just trying to see it, the reflection in the window there because I don't have a mirror. Uh, Savan thinned this for me. She did a fabulous job. I was able to go in and see her. This is my, again, McKenna size small fits perfectly. Uh, very similar to what you would get on a Madison. Uh, way too much hair for me. So I had to have quite a bit thinned out. And I think she did, she cut a little bit of, I think she did a little bit of uh, sideburns for me. Yeah, she did some sideburns and I don't think she layered it anymore. It came like this, but she did a fabulous job. I had to pluck some of the, the part here because the hair all went together on it. And that happens with Madison too, where you don't get that with an eye wig. So here is my medium, ugh, I got hair in my mouth, medium eye wig from Kendra and custom colored. You can, Athena, is that her name? That you can order, uh, but you see, oh, it fits my head. It's so comfortable. This is hands down my most comfortable wig I've ever had in my life, this one. I love how short it is for the summer, right? So that's the scalp on that one. And then here is the one from Gardo, which I love as well, especially because Kendra colored it for me. And this one had been thinned by Natalie and had the, the layers put in it, but then I needed it colored more, so I ended up sending it to Kendra. So this one has been a little bit thinned, where I don't think that Kendra had to thin the other eye wig, so maybe they do come a little bit uh, of a variety in density, but like, check out that scalp. It's so comfortable. I don't know, this is just as comfortable as the other one. I don't even almost feel like I have a wig on. It does get a little bit hotter in the summertime than a lace top. But for me, I have such a sensitive scalp that the lace tops actually start to get itchy where these don't. And I get inside and I'm like doing stuff around the house and I'm like, oh yeah, I still have my wig on. Never do I do that with, uh, maybe with a high line wig, but that's pretty much it. I usually have to uh, 
take them off. So anyway, those are those. I'm not going to make this any longer. I'll stop it now and then I will do uh, highlights.